So I'm normally not the kind of guy to casually hop into the nature versus nurture debate. Okay, you caught me. I totally am that kind of guy. But fair warning, I have no PhDs in childhood development and in particular childhood personality development. Not an expert in any way, but over the years of being exposed to children growing up, it's left a couple of impressions on me. One of them being, in terms of physical attributes and hereditary traits, nature is a clear winner. So, case closed. But it could be argued that personality is a little bit stickier than the genetics, right? Genetics are a clear culprit behind what your kid looks like and how tall they are and so forth. But personality is a different story. And it, I am of the opinion that your personality traits of a kid come pre-installed. So I'm going to give nature a little bit of an edge, okay? I think the process here is that the core personality traits of, of your little human are, are already running in the background and they just emerge as they grow. That's a very cool process, but also it sometimes cause for a little bit of alarm. Okay, let me give you an example. You have a couple of parents and they're, they're snow bunnies and they world travelers and they eat a lot of granola and they're super duper chill human beings. And then all of a sudden they're, they're knocked up and they're expecting. Okay, so first of all, you're wondering how they even get through their day in the first place. And now they've got a little human there. So, and before anybody knows it, this little human is a uh, half-formed, uh, militantly organized type A individual. Okay, is this cause for concern? Not necessarily. Is this going to be a challenging parental experience for those people? Absolutely. However, due to the emergence of personality traits, as I like to call it, a manifestation this is, again, my opinion, but it's a manifestation of your child's inherent traits. Where they come from, I don't know. So all I can say is that they're going to develop and you're going to watch it happen either as an uncle or a friend or as a parent yourself. And that's OK. Is there a role for nurture in this? Absolutely. OK, you've got a set of personality traits that are going to come to the fore. You've got a type A person or a really retired and very super relaxed introvert. You're going to get what you're going to get. It's a big giant cosmic roll of the dice across the board and what you're going to get for a kid. However, there is a lot of room for you to employ morals, ethics, boundaries, and, and curb some of the weaknesses and, and help develop some of the strengths that you see emerging for your child. The goal here is to create a functional, relatively well-adjusted human being that's going to make it in society. So I wouldn't worry about it. And, and if I were to offer any advice as an armchair observer in this whole process, is that absolutely be vigilant in your raising of your kids. Give them the morals, the ethics, the boundaries, um, <clears throat> the safety that they deserve in order and the container for them to be able to develop as they're going to develop. But I would also encourage you as a parent to stay kind of loose, right? As much as you're trying to curb this, you're trying to encourage and bring forth and create a space to for other personality, their natural personalities to emerge. So roll with it. It's kind of a balanced thing. And, and the best you can do is the best you can do. It's a cool experience. And you know what? <clears throat> I uh, look at this happening to me and to my friends and other people. And my final and concluding thoughts in this is that the universe has a rather unique sense of humor. Cheers.